Well, something much older than both those buildings is disappearing at a rapid pace. Nearly a third of the world's oak tree population is being threatened with extinction. As Brett Underwood reports, work is being done right here in the tri-state that could help save them. It's a perfectly peaceful afternoon on the grounds of the Long Branch Farm in Goshen. There are all kinds of life growing. But standing in the middle of the preserve, it takes some time to find an oak tree. For about the past 30, 40 years, land managers have noticed that oaks are disappearing. Corey Christopher with the Cincinnati Nature Center says in this region of the country, there are three principal explanations for the decline in oaks. Does it have something to do with maple? Does it have something to do with our invasive shrubs? Or is it drought that's leading a lot of this oak loss? Or is it a combination? To find out, the research project began. Blue is suggesting that it had to go through drought conditions and it had to be treated with honeysuckle tea. It looks great, but a lot of the ones that have a blue tag, like this little dude, didn't do well at all. Around 400 seedlings are now being studied to see how drought and homemade honeysuckle extract affect the growth of both oak and maple trees. The maples were able to continue growing at about the same level regardless of what you put in front of them. But not the oak. There was something about oak that when you suddenly treated it with both drought as well as honeysuckle, it just wasn't able to survive or grow as well. These early results indicate eliminating the overshadowing maple trees won't save the oak. It's the invasive honeysuckle that appears to be the main thing limiting the oak's growth. Drought likely plays a factor too. Whatever the reason, the seeds that may just save them are already growing. These oak trees are probably the most important tree that we have in our entire, uh, across the entire eastern U.S. In Goshen, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. And a huge key to the research is how will the trees fare this winter? We'll be sure to update the progress this spring.